Hi guys, this is Kapil from HS Academy and welcome to another informative video. So guys, today's our topic is how a hazard is converting into a reality. Generally, we have studied a lot of hazards in the safety itself. Okay, so when these hazards are converting into a reality, there are a lot of processes that is involved in between of that. For example, this is hazard, that is consequence. Okay, this is the uninsulated wire and this is the consequence of that like electric shock, fatality and that. Okay, so in between of that, there are a lot of processes is involved. Okay, in every hazard. So we are going to learn these processes, how these work and how a hazard is converts into a reality. So without wasting any time, let's get straight to the video. See one uh, refinery. Okay, one process plant is available. So now guys, you can see here some gas releases there. Just consider it as a gas release. So now we will take this one as an example and we will understand this topic very nicely. Okay, just consider you can see here where process refinery is there. Okay, now let's move to the another topic. That is your explosions. First of all, gas is released. After that, explosion occurred. So after the explosion, what will happen? There will be fatality. This will happen. So first one, this one will be your hazard. What is that? Gas release is one of the hazard, no? Okay. And these two will be your result. First of all, this is the transmission process. And this one is your consequence. Now, apart from this destruction, there will be a lot of things like uh, loss of uh, environment, loss of human life, loss of property, and a lot of things will be there. Okay. Now, when a particular this image, this scenario is converting into this scenario. Okay. When this scenario is converting from this to this, there are a lot of processes are there that we will understand now. Okay, fine. So first of all, before understanding that, I want to know from you, what is the meaning of a hazard? You know, hazard is anything in our workplace that have the potential to cause harm. What is that? Anything in our workplace that have the potential to cause harm. But this particular definition is partially correct. Not fully correct, it is partially correct. Okay, so we will complete that definition now. Okay guys, now you have heard about a lot of hazards like uh, bi uh, biomedical hazards are there, after that electrical hazards is there, explosive hazards are there, all are correct. Okay, all are same but the process is totally different. So let's directly move to the process and understand that one by one. Okay, so first of all, start from the basic. Now you can see here one diagram is there, that is called hazard triangle. I have taken one special video on that. So if you haven't watched that video, kindly go and check out that video first of all. Uh, so first of all, let's understand what is the meaning of hazard triangle. So that will be more easy for you. So let's take that hazard triangle and try to understand that. Okay, guys. So hazard triangle, what is a hazard triangle? Hazard triangle is a diagram that represents the three major elements or three important elements that is required to ha a hazard to exist. So these three elements include, first of all, your hazard triangle. This is the diagram called hazard triangle. First element is called hazardous element. What is that? Hazardous element. Hazardous element or HE. H is the short form of that. Second is your target and threat that is oftenly called TT. Second is, third is initiating mechanism or IM. When these three elements are present in a particular configuration, then only a hazard will occur. If one of the elements you will remove from that triangle, a hazard will never occur. Okay, so that is the purpose of that. It is pretty much similar to the fire triangle. Okay, so now we have gone through these three elements. So now let's Let's take one basic understanding about these particular elements. So hazardous element means anything that is hazardous. Okay, that is hazardous have the potential to cause harm. For example, in our refinery scenario, which I have showed you at the initial. Inside that, what is the uh, hazardous element? That gas, which is coming out because that gas is only giving the problem to us. Okay, uh, second is target and threat. Target and threat means the, the person who is going to get affected by that. For example, now the local community, which is residing near the plant, they are going to affect, so they will be called as target and threat. And third is your initiating mechanism. It means what are those factors that's, that are triggering that particular event. For example, now loss of mechanical integrity. It means whatever the pipelines we have, pressure vessel we have, they have very uh, low strength you can call. Okay, this is one of the initiating mechanism of that. So these are the meaning of these three elements. Now let's understand how this configuration works and how they turn into a real hazard. Okay, you understand that diagram, no? Now let's move to the another image. Fine. So uh, here I have showed you one diagram. Okay. So see guys, uh, this is your hazard. Okay. Just consider it, it's a molecule. This one, this diagram is a molecule. Okay. So now un under that you can see these three elements in different configuration. HE your hazardous element, IM is your initiating mechanism and TT is your target and threat. 
ओके दैट इज़ द मीनिंग ऑफ दैट नाउ गाइस इट इज़ नॉट कंपलसरी दैट ओनली वन एच ई विल बी देर वन आई एम विल बी देर एंड वन टी टी विल बी देर दे विल बी मल्टीपल ओके बट दे शुड कन्फिगर इन अ पर्टिकुलर पैटर्न सो नाउ जस्ट सी दैट वैन अ हजार्ड इज कन्वर्टिंग इन टू अ मिस हैप नाउ मिस हैप आई विल टेल यू आफ्टर वर्ड्स ओके वैन अ हजार्ड इज कन्वर्टिंग इन टू अ मिस हैप दे शुड प्रजेंट इन अ पर्टिकुलर मैनर सी एच ई आई एम एंड टी टी एच ई आई एम टी टी एच ई आई एम टी टी ओके दिस इज द पर्टिकुलर कॉन्फिग्रेशन नाउ इट विल नॉट बी लाइक दैट एच ई आफ्टर दैट टी टी विल बी देर वन आई एम विल बी देर आफ्टर दैट अगेन एच ई विल बी देर इट इज नॉट ओके दे शुड बी इन अ पर्टिकुलर कॉन्फिग्रेशन डोंट वरी आई विल टेक वन अदर अनदर एग्जाम्पल ऑफ दैट सो यू कैन सी हियर दिस इज वन ऑफ द पर्टिकुलर पैटर्न पर्टिकुलर कॉन्फिग्रेशन इन विच दे शुड बी अरेंज वैन अ हजार इज कन्वर्टिंग इन टू अ रियलिटी ओके दे शुड बी प्रॉपरली अरेंज सो वैन दे आर प्रॉपरली अरेंज दे विल बी कॉल्ड मिस हैप मिस हैप इज द एक्चुअलाइज इवेंट हजार इज द पोटेंशियल इवेंट फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई हैव द पोटेंशियल टू कॉज यू हार्म आई एम द हजार बट वैन आई एक्चुअली बीट यू एंड एक्चुअली यू गॉट द इंजरी एट द टाइम इट विल कॉल्ड एस मिस हैप सो दैट इज द बेसिक डिफरेंस इन बिटवीन ऑफ दैम रियलिटी विल बी कॉल्ड एस मिस हैप ऑन द अदर हैंड पोटेंशियल इवेंट दैट कैन अकर दैट विल बी कॉल्ड एस हजार सो आई होप यू गॉट दैट अंडरस्टैंडिंग नाउ लेट्स मूव टू द अनदर डायग्राम एंड अंडरस्टैंड दिस पर्टिकुलर कॉन्फिग्रेशन ऑफ दिस थ्री इन अ वेरी ईजी मैनर ओके ओके वन मोर गुड एग्जाम्पल इज देयर फॉर यू सी गाइज फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल टेक दैट ओके दीज आर थ्री व्हील्स ओके सो दैट पर्टिकुलर सर्कल्स विच यू कैन सी हियर दीज सर्कल्स दीज आर डिनोटिंग द थ्री एलिमेंट्स ऑफ अ हजार फॉर एग्जाम्पल फर्स्ट सर्कल इज डिनोटिंग द एच ई सेकेंड इज आई एम एंड थर्ड वन इज टी टी सो दे आर रोटेटिंग एट डिफरेंट स्पीड्स दीज थ्री व्हील्स एक्चुअली दे आर रोटेटिंग इन द डिफरेंट स्पीड ओके सो नाउ आफ्टर सम टाइम आफ्टर सर्टन पीरियड देर विल बी वन टाइम कम ओके वैन दीज थ्री पर्टिकुलर पैटर्न्स दीज थ्री रिंग्स will come in a specified ratio for example these three rings are there these particular circles will come in a this ratio see you can see here downwards they are coming in a straight line okay so when they are coming in a straight line then only that hazard will cause mishap they will convert into a actualized event so this is one of the basic example see how they are first of all in the first diagram how they are misarranged in the second one they are properly arranged okay so that will be called as mishap conversion so i hope now you got the difference what is the configuration of that okay let's move to the another one and make it more easy for you okay fine guys let's under understand hazard and mishap a uh, little bit more comprehensively so this is one of the drum a drum or you can uh, call it as a coin so as you know that a coin have two sides okay one is hat and second is tails okay so both sides are different so out of that one drum side will be called as hazard on the other will be called as mishap okay two sides are there one side will be called as hazard second is mishap this coin is there one side of the coin will be called as hazard second side of the coin will be called as mishap likewise applicable here okay so now hazard i told you hazard is not a event hazard is just a potential event okay it can occur it will occur that will be called as hazard when it occurs actually for example see here worker could be electrocuted by touching exposed contact electrical panel worker can be electrocuted this is one of the potential event it may occur or it may not occur depend upon the position related positions of the these three elements he im and tt okay now these three elements come in a proper configuration now this converted into a actualized event what they have written here worker was electrocuted touching exposed contacts in electrical panel containing high voltage it means it converted into a reality what we have predicted previously it converted into a reality why because these three elements of the hazard triangle came in a proper configuration that's why that is the reason of that okay so so now you can see here one arrow is there okay that is called transition phase when a hazard is converting into a mishap in, into a actualized event that is called a transition phase okay so that transition phase itself is very unique we need to understand that now we will go to the that okay i hope it's clear to you Okay, fine, guys. Let's understand this transition phase. What is actually that? So now you can see here diagram. Hazard is there, mishap is there. In between of that, there is a transition phase. Okay. So that is called a transition phase. So now, this is a hazard and this is a mishap. So when a hazard is converting to a mishap, two things will occur here. Okay, what is that? Two things will occur here. Majorly two things. First is your first thing will be your energy release. What is that? Energy release. When an explosion is occurring in that previous image, what happens? Ex Uh, particularly blast wave released or you can call it energy release that's why that destruction happens now that's why our property loss was there okay now let's move to the another one here you will get more understanding sorry okay see energy release and point of no return energy release means you know in a explosion there is a blast wave that is called energy release now point of no return means what 
point of no return means there will be one point when a hazard is converting into a reality there will be one point afterwards you cannot control you cannot reverse that process for example one leak is there in that particular leak is ignited okay flammable gas leak is there it is ignited now when it is ignited is it possible to control that no because it already gone into the no return phase so that same happens here majorly two things happens during the transition phase this phase transition phase hazard to mishap transition phase uh, after that it takes time also energy build up is there mm -hmm. and levels of safety degraded generally when a hazard is converting into a mishap uh, there will be safety level degradation will be there okay whenever the uh, hazard is converting into a mishap there will be whatever the safety levels are there they will be degraded one by one because it is converting okay now guys uh, i told you that uh, three elements are there hazardous element initiating mechanism and target and threat apart from that also a lot of elements exist in between of a hazard like for example you can see here see here uh, hardware energy chemical material okay human interface function environment so this is called a hcf hazard causal factors model so i am not going to discuss here because it is very much comprehensive we will discuss that in the next class so you can see here hazard level 1 components hazard level 2 components hazard le level 3 components it is very broad term actually hazard itself is a very broad term okay so that particular scf has a causal factors diagram we will discuss in the another class so i hope you got that how a hazard is converted into that so guys this was the end of this video i hope you got the understanding of the hazard till now if you have any sort of doubt you can ask me in the comment box i'll answer you as soon as possible as well as tell me how you like this presentation will you want to continue this type of presentation in the near future is it understandable for you if any suggestion is there kindly drop them in the comment box i'll read that and answer you as soon as possible so thank you for watching guys i will meet you in the next video till then take care